Imagine you are sitting in a cabin in front of a small fire on a cold winter evening. You feel uncomfortably cold, so you throw another log on the fire. This is a typical example of a control loop. In a control loop, a variable, which is temperature in our example, fell below the set point, which is your comfort level, and you took action to bring the process back to the desired condition by adding fuel to the fire. The control loop will now remain static until the temperature again rises above or falls below your comfort level. Control loops in the process industry work in the same way, requiring three tasks to occur. These tasks are measurement, comparison, and adjustment. Take a look at the following example. Here, a level transmitter measures the level in the tank and transmits a signal associated with the level reading to a controller. The controller compares the reading to a predetermined value. In this case here, the maximum tank level established by the plant operator and finds that the values are not equal. The controller then sends a signal to the device that can bring the tank level back to a lower level. In our case here, a valve at the bottom of the tank. So the valve opens to let some liquid out of the tank. Now, many different instruments and devices may or may not be used in control loops, like transmitters, sensors, controllers, valves, pumps, and any other equipment that would be further discussed in this course. But the three tasks of measurement, comparison, and adjustments are always present. 